Hey guys, Tony George. Thursday update here. DocSports.com. Big news today. The NBA kicks off the uh, short and second half of the season here today. And we've got to play on a 15-4 run. And we've got to play tonight in the NBA. A first half line. Uh, kicking off the second half of the season on a nice roll. Be sure and get over to Docs. Claim your free 60 bucks in the link below. And get yourself hooked up with an NBA package for a week or a month and jump on board. Um, we are absolutely dialed in in the NBA. I like the lines. We're going to give you a free NBA play. Um, and we're going to talk about a Mo Valley game as well uh, for your free pick selection here. Um, at college basketball, another winning night last night. Um, uh, four and two, our last six uh, triple header cards. Two and one, two and one. Got a, got a double header tonight. So be sure and uh, jump on board side and total tonight for a seven-unit card. And the NHL, after taking three days off, uh, we won last night. We have a totals play tonight in the NHL, all at Docs. Come get it. Uh, we'll give you an update on NASCAR this weekend. I'm meeting with my buddy J.J. Yaley tonight out here in Vegas. He's coming out here, so we're getting together and... Uh, um, he's driving both Xfinity and Monster Cup uh, this week, this weekend, uh, 52 cars, I think. So, uh, nonetheless, uh, I'll get the scoop from JJ tonight. I'll stick a picture up on social media for you, so you know I'm not blowing smoke up your butt there. We, we got a nice connection there in, in NASCAR. Uh, but, uh, nonetheless, you're here for one thing and one thing only. Free plays Villanova last night. We drank the Kool-Aid, and they cashed huge for you. Interesting night last night in college basketball, as it is, the Jekyll and Hyde, crazy stuff happens, uh, popped up. Uh, I thought North Carolina State might give Duke a ball game, but wow, wow. And Louisville, out of nowhere, shows up. Um, and then my only loss last night, I laid the three with Auburn on the road. How that team only has three losses, the way they are coached is just, just absolutely befuddles me. Um, and, you know, three of their last four games have been in overtime, you know, finishes. I mean, they just can't put it away. I didn't think Georgia, that's a less than 500 ball club that held one of the top, you know, 12 teams in the country to 55 points. You know, couldn't hit a bull in the ass, a handful of rocks. Uh, but nonetheless, again, college basketball, um, very volatile this time of year. Don't be spreading it around right now. This is that time of the year where you just go, what What was that? How'd that happen? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that this upcoming weekend. Speaking of college basketball, real quickly, Scott Spreitzer and I head to the studio today. We're going to give you the two big ones on Saturday. Baylor, Kansas, BYU, Gonzaga. Going to do some uh, marquee matchup videos for you. And we're going to give you an NBA Friday night matchup between uh, the Nuggets and the Thunder. Those will be up very early tomorrow morning right here on this YouTube page. Tune in to support those. We'll give you, I'll give you leans in all three. We usually just do the matchups and, you know, talk about the betting points. But I'll try and give you some leans in all three of those. So be sure and tune into those. And I'm sure Scott will have a pick out of, out of at least one of those three, too, as well. So that being said, let's get to your free picks here. And um, speaking of that BYU game and Gonzaga, BYU is playing Gonzaga at home. They're playing Santa Clara tonight at home. Santa Clara is not a bad basketball team. They're laying 14 and a half. Is that a look-ahead spot? Food for thought. Let's get um, quickly here before we get to your NBA pick. Um, took a long, hard look at the Northern Iowa-Indiana State game tonight in the Mo Valley. And Northern Iowa, obviously the cream of the crop in uh, the uh, Mo Valley. Uh, the best team by far. Uh, Indiana State is not. And you're catching Northern Iowa off a overtime loss. I lost with them on Saturday. Uh, against Illinois Chicago, a road loss. Now they're back to the road to play the Sycamores tonight, laying three total, 128. Um, boy, Sycamores lost three in a row. 
I'd give a small lean after the Panthers to bounce back off a loss. It looks a little shaky at three. Something stinks to high heaven, but just like last night with Nova, I'd drink the Kool-Aid, just small lean there. A couple guys drinking a beer over a fence post, taking a pee. Let's get to your game tonight in the NBA. NBA second half fires back up. Don't forget about that 15-4 run. That's that's solid, solid. Um, and we've got a nice play for you tonight. But uh, the Kings are taking on the Grizzlies at home, and you all probably saw over the, well, if you haven't seen during the regular season or even over the All-Star weekend, John Morant out of Murray State uh, is absolutely an unbelievable basketball player. He was when he played in the Ohio Valley, I watched him for years, won a ton of money on him at Murray State. But then I'm winning money here. As a matter of fact, speaking of Sacramento, since losing in Sacramento on January 2nd, the Grizzlies have posted a 15-4 and straight-up run, 14-5 and against the spread mark their last 19 games. Um, they're 6-3 and straight up and against the spread on the road in that stretch, which includes a 4-1 and one, uh, straight up and against the spread ledger against teams with losing records. Memphis is coming on. Sacramento have lost 10 out of 12 home games from December 13th through February 1st here. Um, now, they have uh, had good luck against Memphis here, but I don't like them tonight. You know, and trust me, Buddy Hild and uh, De'Aaron Fox are a great backcourt. For Sacramento, they just play undisciplined. They don't play any defense. Walt does not have a handle on them. And really, with Marvin Bagley out, that really takes away their presence in the middle. You know, and that's 14 points and seven boards a game. And he is a difference maker for them. And he still is out. And they're going to be out, I think, until uh, early to mid-March. So, um, Grizzlies, 7-0, and their last seven against the spread. His favorites here, they're laying a point and a half tonight. I'll take Memphis on the road over Sacramento uh, to get it done tonight. That's your free pick. Get over to Docs. Get yourself some winners. Enjoy a uh, great second half of the NBA season. Come over and join me.